This is the Bookball Graphite Backpack. Hi, Dan from Your Diary, and today we're going to take a look at the Book Boa backpack. This backpack has an MSRP of just under $130. It is well made, well designed, has style, carries a lot. It's a really impressive backpack. I actually had seen the predecessor of this backpack on someone when I was going down to Washington, D.C. last spring and really was intrigued by the look because as you can see it's got this really unusual curved design and I sped up so I could actually see who had made the backpack and of course it was Book. So the BOA is a great backpack. Let's take a look at the features that it offers. First off, there is a Terralink badge on the back. Uh, Terralink actually lets you register your backpack and if it is lost and somebody actually goes to the Terralink website and puts in the number, you'll be able to recover your backpack. At first I thought that this was kind of a joke because who would return a backpack? I actually left my laptop in a cab in Vegas and the cabbie brought it back to me so people are pretty amazing most of the time and the Terralink gives you an ability to get your backpack back if you leave it somewhere. Better to not leave it somewhere obviously. Um, the backpack has nice straps which have an unusual design here. They don't attach directly individually to the backpack but rather have this arch piece here. I didn't think that would be comfortable at first. It actually is because of the way the backpack sits on your back. They're padded. They're not super padded but this is not a backpack that's going to hold 100 pounds so I find it very comfortable. Certainly it's enough padding. There's no chest strap or waist strap. Again I think that's because you're not expected to be carrying tons and tons and tons of gear and you don't really need to actually disperse the weight as you would with a, a big bulky backpack that you're carrying tons of photographic equipment with. The buckles are plastic but certainly sturdy enough and they just have this very standard strap for adjusting them. You have a grab handle at the top, not padded, not fancy, but certainly functional and does what you need it to do. And uh, this is a deal breaker for me. If a backpack doesn't have a grab handle at the top, I'm really not interested because it really does limit the usefulness of the backpack. There's a lot of padding here on the back of the backpack, which makes it really comfortable to use for an extended period. There is this channel in here, which allows air to flow, but also is perfect. It means that none of the weight of the backpack is going directly on your spine. Very, very smart. And it does go all the way around and have more of it here where the backpack is going to sit low on your back. Going around to the front of the backpack, first off, you see that the pulls are stylized as well. This is a backpack with a lot of style, but the style doesn't get in the way of it being really functional. And the pulls are very well made, very easy to grab. You have this zippered area here for stowing a few things for quick access and it's got this bright color inside so that you can actually see what's there. Along the top of the backpack you have another pocket here and this is perfect for stowing your wallet or your phone and e having easy access to it. Because it's at the top of the backpack I don't think you have to worry nearly as much about security issues as you might if it were down in this area. On each side you've got this side pocket which has a nice open area and an internal pocket here as well. The pulls come from the top down, which makes it easy to actually close it. Um, I would have preferred if the zipper went all the way around and there were two pulls so I could decide if I want to be pulling up or down to close it and down or up to open it. But they didn't do it that way and it does work really, really well. On this one side, you'll find that there is a key ring as well. So very functional there. These actually hold a lot more than you might think. So center pocket, top pocket, side pocket, side pocket, and then you have the main compartment. The main compartment does have two zippers, but they don't come all the way down, which does limit your ability to pack it very, very carefully, but not a huge issue. And it does fold open this way. If you look inside the backpack, there's a nice padded area here with a Velcro strap right here. This actually is perfect for a 15-inch MacBook Pro or something smaller. I've been using it with my 15-inch MacBook Pro and it works really, really well. There is a pocket here, another pocket here, 
and a pen pocket right here. And then there's a larger but shallower pocket here. All of them are open, but opening to the top. So, so long as you don't dump the backpack upside down, the contents aren't going to spill out. On the front of the backpack, you've got a mesh pocket here. It doesn't seal, but again, it's toward the top of the backpack so stuff won't fall out. And it does stretch so you can put some bulkier items here. And you've got this zippered pocket right here that is perfect for a tablet. I've been using this for my iPad mini when I have my MacBook Pro inside as well. And then of course you've got this pretty cavernous area for storing the bulkier things that you have. Uh, it may not look like this backpack holds a lot. It actually does. It has enough organizational area in it without having too much. It doesn't overwhelm you. And it does carry a lot more than you might think it would. So what do I think of the Book Boa Graphite? I like it a lot. It's comfortable. It holds a lot. It's incredibly well made. The seams are perfect. Uh, the pulls are really nice. The material is really holding up quite well. I actually use this for a number of, of jaunts into Manhattan over the past couple of weeks. Loaded down, used it all day, did not treat it really gently, and it still looks brand new. And I found it really comfortable to be using. So if you're looking for a backpack that's in the $130 range, has a lot of style, will carry up to a 15 inch laptop and a tablet, has some good organizational uh, functionality, and doesn't look like just a sack that you throw on your back, the Book Bow Graphite is probably worth a look. This is Dan for Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching.